What's going on YouTube? This is Ultimate Device Vids, and this is Tweak Recap. And as always, I'm going to be showing you guys five of the best Cydia tweaks that are compatible with the latest version of iOS that is capable of running a jailbreak. At this time, it's iOS 8.1.2. And let's get right into it. The first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Stratos. It's available in Cydia for $1.99. And this tweak gives you an alternative way to switch between all the applications on your device. So as you can see there, I just swiped up from the bottom of the screen, the same gesture that would normally get you to control center. And I have this new interface. This is very similar to the app switcher back from iOS 6 and earlier. And it's actually even more similar to the original version of OXO for iOS 6 and iOS 5, just the way that it looks overall. And if you swipe over just like this, as you can see, we also have our media controls. And if we swipe again, we have our control center controls. And of course, again, we also have the applications that we're able to switch between on our device. And as you can see, they do page at four, just as you would expect them to. You could just tap on them if you want to open them. And there's also an even quicker way to uh, basically access those apps. If you swipe up and continue swiping, as you can see where my finger is at the top of the screen, the app that's beneath my finger, will, um, as you can see, kind of uh, go up a little bit, as you see there. And if I just release like that, as you can see, it will open up the application. So it's kind of like a quick switcher. So you could just cycle through these, let go, and it'll open up a particular app. So that's pretty cool, as you can see there. It's just a fast way to switch between your applications, even faster than just swiping up and tapping. You could swipe with that one gesture and just release. And of course, if you go into settings on your device, you can configure some things for Stratos. Let's just go in through the Stratos settings. Of course, you can enable or disable the tweak. And if you slide up, there are some awesome cats. <laughs> and anyways, down here after the enable switch, there's various things you can configure. As you can see, there's just tons of things that you can configure to make it work the way that you want. And again, I still think the best part of the settings panel are the cats up here, which is my ultimate favorite thing. <laughs> But anyways, um, after you make any changes, you do not need to respring your device. Everything will take effect immediately. And that's just about it for this tweak. It's a very fast way to cycle between the applications on your device. I would probably say it's a safe bet that this is faster than using the normal app switcher. As you can see, you just use that single gesture to switch between apps. And it's definitely not 72 degrees here in Boston. It's freezing. But anyways, that's all for this tweak. Once again, it's called Stratos. It's available in Cydia for $1.99. And one last thing I want to mention about this tweak is, as you can see, it does not replace the normal app switcher. You can still use it as you normally would be able to, as you can see. However, if you do want it to, you can go into settings and enable um, activate via home button. And now after you've enabled that, as you can see, it will completely replace it. So just double click and you'll end up right here, just as if you swiped up. So that's completely up to you whether you want to use both or you know just one. But again, you have this option to configure which one. And again, the tweak's called Stratos. And the next tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Spring Sounds. It's available in Cydia for free, and it will allow you to modify uh, various sounds in iOS. So basically, things in iOS that would normally make a sound. For example, when you lock your device, you could change that. When you, uh, you know, when you're in your keyboard and you click a button, you could change that. You could change when you plug your device into charge. You kind of modify these sounds and you know customize them to your liking. For example, if I open up my Messages app here, and I'm just going to go ahead and start typing something. As you can see, I have this sound. And this is a new sound. This isn't the normal click that you would normally find. As you can see, it is a different sound. And also, you'll notice when I lock my device, it is the sound that normally shows up when you plug your device into charge. So I change that from uh, when, it, when you plug your device in to when you lock your device. It's not the normal click. There you go. And there's various combinations and you know different things you could set it to. So let's just go into settings here. And we'll scroll down and we'll go into the settings panel for spring sounds. And you want to go to sounds included and you have these options. So you have keyboard sound, lock sound, photo shutter sound, plug sound, received message, and sent message. And you can just go into selected sound and choose between any of the sounds that it has available. And from what I could tell, these are sounds that are the ones that are normally in iOS. But again, you could kind of rearrange and change what, you know, when they show up. So basically you could, you know, change the power sound to when you lock your device like I did. Now, one downside with this is unfortunately, whenever you change any of these, you have to respring using the respective sections respring button. So for example, if I change the keyboard sound to something else, I would have to select this apply change and respring button. 
And let's say I also maybe, you know, had this one set, had the, had the lock sound set to power connected. Even if I had these both set and I clicked, let's say this apply change and respring button, this one would need to be clicked after that individually. So basically for each one of these sections, you know, meaning keyboard sound, lock sound, photo shutter sound, you have to, you have to manually, after changing them, you have to manually select apply change and respring for each and every one of them. So it's a little bit tedious, but again, it does get the job done. And I'll just show you one more, which is the photo shutter sound, which I have set to tink. And I'll show you what that sounds like. Let's just open up the camera app here, and I'll take some photos. As you can see, it is a new sound. I actually like this one. It's a lot cleaner, in my opinion, than the normal one, and it fits the camera you know, interface better, I think, the sound does. But again, you can customize it to whatever you want. And once again, this tweak is called Spring Sounds. It's available in Cydia for free. And next up, we have Magic Blink. This one's available in Cydia for $2.99, and this tweak blew my mind when I used it. Basically, what it does is it will allow you to control your iPhone by blinking your eyes. And I know that sounds absolutely crazy, and it may not be the most practical thing, but it's really cool to see that this actually works. It uses the front-facing camera on your device to do this. And if you want to know which devices are compatible, just open up Cydia and go to the page, and you will see the devices right here. So make sure your device is there. And how it works is after you install it, you just need to go into Activator on your device and just go ahead and choose an Activator action. So go into Anywhere. I use Triple Press of the Home button. And then you want to assign it to Magic Blink. So how it works is well, now when you perform your Activator action, mine's a Triple Press of the Home button. Again, it will allow you to control your iPhone using the blink of your eye. So basically what it does is if you blink your left eye, it will scroll you over uh, one time to the left. And right, it'll scroll you over one time to the right. This is very useful if you're using the iBooks application to read a book and you just want simple controls to go back a page, forward a page. However, it does also work on the home screen when going you know, back and forth in between pages, and that's what I'm going to be demonstrating with now. And it does use, again, up at the top of your device, um, the camera, I believe. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and lift my iPhone up a little bit, and I'm going to perform the action first. And as you can see, it will give you a message. It says Magic Blink is on. And I'm going to blink my left eye, and it will go to the left to my other home screen. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to blink to the left. And there you go. As you see, it just moved. And now I'm going to blink to the right. And it does help to blink your eyes slower rather than faster, so it can get a good reading. And there you go. As you can see, it moved. And I'll go back again to the left. And I'll wait a little bit. I'll stay here. And OK, so now let's just go to the right. There you go. As you can see, it is pretty responsive. Now, obviously, this works better than sometimes it works uh, sometimes better than other times. Um, but, you know, for the most part, you will get a decent experience. I'm just going to go ahead and disable it by using the same activator action. And, of course, this is really useful, again, if you're reading a book inside the iBooks app. But yeah, it's just a really cool concept. See, if this could even be done with your Apple device. It's just really cool. Just to be able to control your device without even touching it is really cool, and especially with something as crazy as your eyes. So it's just a really cool concept. Also, in the Settings app, if you go into Magic Blink, as you can see, there are some options to configure a dependent of Activator in here. But you get the idea of the tweak. It allows you to control your iPhone with your eyes, particularly useful if you're reading a book. And once again, it's available in Cydia for $2.99. And next up, we have 7 Spotlight. It's available in Cydia for free. And what this tweak does is it will bring back the Spotlight search found in iOS 7 to iOS 8. And as you can see, this is it right here. So in iOS 8, the Spotlight view here, so basically all the applications that you'd see behind it, is normally that's blurred out. But as you can see with this tweak, you know, it's just like it was in iOS 7. You can see all the applications clearly behind it. So if you prefer the Spotlight search from iOS 7, this tweak will bring it back for you, as you can see. And it's available in Cydia for free. And again, if this is something that interests you, definitely go check it out. It does the job, you know, completely fine, and it works. And next up, we have Simple Centers. It's available in Cydia for $1.00. And basically what this tweak allows you to do, as the name suggests, is simplify notification center and control center. So it will allow you to uh, remove elements from these places. So you, you, could, you could go very minimal if you want, or you could just remove a few things. So as you can see here, this is my uh, control center uh, setup. And how you configure it is you go into settings on your device, and you just want to find simple centers, go in there, make sure it's enabled, and you have notification center and control center. So first, let's just go into Control Center, and as you can see, you have tons of options. You could toggle on and off. 
you could make it you know more minimal or just a little bit more minimal for example we could hide an entire section so if i enable a hide toggle section as you can see there's no more toggles and there's a lot of other options you could configure down here to your liking something else that i like is that you could disable the bounce so as you can see use old cc bounce if i disable that of course normally in ios you have this bounce with control center apple added that in ios 7.1 and above and if you want the one from ios 7.0 you could enable use old cc bounce and as you can see it doesn't bounce anymore and if we go back into notification center as you can see there's a bunch of options here too you could hide certain things uh, for example if we want to hide the notification center tabs we could enable that and then as you can see, there's no more tabs. We just have this one notifications view. And as you can see here, these changes are taking effect without a respring. However, just in case something doesn't take an effect for whatever reason, there is this button just in case, as you can see, respring to activate changes. And once again, this tweak's called Simple Centers. I really do like it being able to you know, customize those two areas, being Control Center and Notification Center. And once again, it's available on Cydia for a dollar. And the last tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Digital Clock Icon. It's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak, as it suggests, it will change the analog clock that's normally found on the clock icon into a digital clock. And for some reason, after, I don't know, 17 years of my life, I still just suck at reading a clock. It just takes me longer. And it's a lot quicker for me to just see the time, you know, in number form. So if you're like me, this is a very good option. Now, the only downside is, as you can see, I'm not in military time. However, this tweak automatically displays military time. I would really prefer if it just displayed, you know, the normal time, whatever you had set. And unfortunately, there's no option for you to change that. But, you know, it is what it is, and it does work. And, you know, it's still easier than... Uh, you know, having to read an analog clock for me, but I mean, again, I would prefer it to have whatever time that I had set, but hey, I'm going to take it as it is because it's still faster. I definitely do recommend this tweak, and once again, it's called a digital clock icon. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to let me know down below in the comment section, as always, which one of these tweaks is your favorite, and I'll see you guys later.